Hello everyone, I am Dad of War and this is my theory on who could be the next final boss after Dracula. With the full release of V Rising scheduled for May 8th and the reveal that the final boss of the game is Dracula, I can't help but think who we might fight after we face and defeat Dracula. Who is more worthy of the title final boss than the Dark Prince himself? To answer this question, we have to look at Stunlock Developer's Blog number 22. In it, Stunlock Studio describes what it takes to introduce a new family of enemies and how to make them immediately stand out from the rest. That includes making them visually different. And boy, do they look different. This new creature featured in concept art is a headless torso with 15 eyes. And that got me thinking, who else has lots of eyes, no face, and sometimes tentacles? You guessed it, Cosmic Horrors, also known as Lovecraftian Horrors, also known as Eldritch Horrors, basically faceless monsters from deep space with lots of otherworldly deformities. Deformities like lots of eyes, sometimes tentacles, sometimes mutated teeth. This lines up perfectly with the concept art from blog number 22 and description of an invading force. After all, cosmic horrors travel through cold, dark corners of space and conquer anything that they come across. In the same blog, there is a small part that refers to praying to the dark gods. This could be nothing since that part of the blog is referring to the game development portion of V Rising, or it could be a hint. Maybe some of the in-game characters were summoning cosmic horrors in an attempt to get more power or gain their favor. Who knows, maybe that is how Dracula received his powers, or even how he became a vampire in the first place. Perhaps Dracula received a dark blessing from one of these dark gods, aka cosmic horrors, to prepare this world for their coming, and now they're on their way to collect. Of course, we will not know until May 8th when the game is live, since there will be more of those new invading force monsters family and we will be able to tell if they have more cosmic horror inspired similarities between them. Just think for a second how cool it would be if in a year from now we will be facing a whole cult that worships this massive cosmic creature that fell from the sky in a grand meteor or we open a portal to an entirely new world, a vast world from which this invading force comes from and realize that an entire world has fallen to this creature's machinations and now we have to push back and challenge it on its own turf. A creature that has hordes of cult-like followers and has spread across this other world with its influence and its massive tentacles corrupting everything it touches both physically and mentally. A hive-like mind that never sleeps, never tires and is always hungry for more conquest. This direction could lead game designers and developers to work on an entirely new way we play V Rising, not only in the form of new monsters, but how we approach facing new final boss or gain powers or influenced by madness. But this is just fun speculation at this point. Let me know who you would like to see after Dracula is defeated by our hands in the comments below. And for more V Rising content, subscribe to my channel.